Welcome to K-Drama Flash, we will be talking about an exciting drama called Falling Into Your Smile. We will discuss what makes this series so interesting and why you should watch it. Before we get into this video, you should know that there will be spoilers for the drama, so spoiler alert. Falling Into Your Smiles is a Chinese drama series. With amazing characters, the drama is a romantic, also funny, interesting, and captivating drama. The drama is based on professional gaming. It shows the experience of multiple gamers becoming professional gamers without the support of their family. Falling Into Your Smiles was aired from 23rd June to 15th July 2021. It has 31 episodes. It is based on a novel by King Mei and directed by Kui Zhan Wai. The main characters in this drama are Zhu Kai as Lu Si Cheng, Cheng Zhao as Tong Yao, Yao Chai, Rachel Wang as Chan Jin Yang, and Zhu Yi Ran as Ai Jaya. The drama starts with Tong Yao, a young passionate gamer who is recruited for ZDGX, a top gaming team. In the Chinese gaming industry, there was no female professional gamer before. Many doubted her skills and people did not accept her in the beginning. Even her teammates did not accept her. But Tong Yao stood strong to show her skills to prove that women can be good gamers too. Here, through this drama, Tong Yao and her team tries to explore the traditional view of gaming and how it can be harmful to them. The parents of professional gamers do not support them as they don't understand this career because they think this game could harm them. They think they play the games the whole day and destroy themselves and discard their careers. In this drama, Tong Yao faces several issues. This happens because she was the only female gamer in the male-dominated industry. Because of this, she had to be very careful about her words and actions. The first episode is an exciting one with a super gorgeous cast. The new actor Jai Zio when captured attention immediately. He is also cute as Jai Yang. Tong Yao was a new university graduate. Jai Yang, then boyfriend of Tong Yao, taught her to play computer games. With his excellent coaching, Tong Yao became an excellent player. She was noted by CGDX, who was looking for someone to replace Ming who had hurt his wrist. She could not say yes because she had to get the consent of her family, especially her mother. But Tong Yao decided to attend the spring championship game between CK and CGDX, and stayed in the Intercontinental Hotel. She found her idol, Lu Cheng, on the elevator. The next day, it was the finals. Jai Yang was the captain of CK, and he was thrown off when he saw Tong Yao with her friend being the focus of the kiss camp. Due to this Jian Yang became disorientated in his team losing in the first match. During the break, he waited for Tong Yao, but could not meet her because he was busy with games. But she told Jai Yang that they were over and it did not matter. The second and final match was won by CK. Ming announced that he was retiring as he knew that it was because of him that CGDX lost. The fans were crying for their hero. Again, Jai Yang goes to speak with Tong Yao and tells her that if she wants to play professionally, she should join his team. Tong Yao said she was not interested. The second episode shows the moving of Tong Yao into the ZGDX gaming building. Her bedroom was decorated in pink with girl accessories. She was amused to see a lot of pink in the bedroom. She was, but she did not say anything. She was too nice to say anything. The boys also had to adjust to a girl being in their house and more with their manner and outfit. It was also confusing to see a girl replacing Ming. But Ming did not completely retire from ZGDX. He was appointed as the coach. In episode 3, Tony Yao explained the past and current relationship with Jai Yang. She said that Jai Yang dropped out of university sooner than her because he got too engrossed in his new life as a professional gamer. He did not have time to reply to her text even as he had no time for her. So they had to break up. But now, Jian Yang wants to restart their relationship, but Tong Yao texts him that the past is past and to just move on. Tong Yan started training under Ming. She was good enough in the game but reached as a professional player. She needed a lot of teamwork. In the fourth episode, Tong Yan is in a confused state about whether Su Cheng is flirting with her or not or not but he does not like her talking to other male gamers. Tong Yan's parents came to visit her unexpectedly. Her mother said the gamer called Chessman was a bad man. Si Cheng introduced himself to Tong Yao's parents and they found that nothing is wrong with him. He was kind enough to allow them to stay at the gaming center. In the fifth episode, we noticed Tony Yao's mother allowing her to go for the Chessman. 
Tai of TAT issues a challenge to ZGDX and targets Tong Yao. Si Chang told them to ignore the challenge, but Tong the Yao said they might take the challenge and play against TAT. She did not win. She was rather upset about it, and her teammates, including Si Chang, could not say anything to cheer her up, so they just left her alone to get over her sadness. What do you think of the show so far? It is funny, romantic, and tackles a whole new sector of industry we have never seen before in dramas. This show definitely deserves a watch.